this one the center is like a safe place that everybody knows they can come down here you know and if they want to talk to somebody they they'll there'll be someone to talk to it's a place where you can come and you know just let it out just you know and feel comfortable it's a place where all students can come inside and feel welcome no matter if you're a new student like a freshman or a senior or if you're a transfer student it's just like you're welcome here and it's a safe space to come talk to someone. You can go and just relate and get things that you need. At June Jordan, like what teachers will do is like, if you're in a class and they notice that you're having like problems or they notice something about your behavior that's a little bit off and is different than like maybe other kids or like they see you struggling or they kind of have some kind of like feeling that something's going on in your life, what they'll do is they'll refer you to the wellness center so you can talk to someone about it. I was into like drugs and smoking and carrying stuff at school and like they helped me to change to become a better person and now it's like I'm just doing me. I was going through a, um, a problem and I was really down and didn't want to come to school no more but all my teachers knew that I had like potential and they knew that something was wrong with me so they referred me down here. They're great. <laughs> It's very confidential um, if you want to maintain that way. Um. They guide me to like, like to, not to a certain path, but they tell me like, these are the paths you could take and you should choose which one, you know? Like giving me a whole bunch of options and not just telling me, yo, you gotta go here. They're positive and they're just great. That's all I can really say. It's just, it's very helpful. Through Jay talking to me and seeing how he's overcoming and, how, and him telling me like where he came from, was very similar to where I came from. So to fact to see him like going to school and doing this, you know, it, it helped me want to succeed, you know, and it, and and try out something that I didn't know I had the option to before. I've been like visiting with the counselor, and I've been part of the culture here in the wellness center, and I've even um, emerged myself into being a Yao, which is a youth outreach worker for the wellness center. I am a Yao, which is a youth outreach advocate and basically we speak for students who are afraid to speak for themselves. There are students who are in certain situations where they don't feel comfortable for you know speaking out or they feel like they are um how do I say like different you know. Myself I come from a background of struggles and um I relate to many students on various of levels so I kind of know like growing up in the community and you know all that so something that they might feel and I, I will speak up for them. Activity wise, um, educational wise, anything I feel that can benefit them and help them. It's okay to go through whatever you want through and still achieve your goals. Yeah. As I started growing in my academics, I started growing as a person and I started growing more mature so I became more responsible which led to like my more involvement in the wellness center and I've been a ongoing uh, gal since my junior year till now. I'll hear individuals talking, uh, you know, with their friends, and I'll be like, oh, well, you know, since they're speaking about this, let's bring this to the attention of the yows, and maybe it's something that we can do as a school to, you know, bring us all together and make sure that we all have fun, but at the same time, learn something that's educational. The one that's center connected me to Homies Organizing the Mission to Empower Youth, which is an organization in San Francisco that helps uh, youth that are involved in, like, gang affiliation or any other issues, and that's where my activist spirit kind of sprouted up, and that led me to be involved all the power and other organizations in the city like Educators for Fair Consideration that works with immigrants and stuff. But I know that I want to teach people stuff because that's what got me to be the person that I am today, education. A lot of people get deprived of their education and I feel like it's something that a lot of people forget to embrace and I think that being an educator is an important job because you're like, you interact with the people who become presidents and leaders, you know, it's like that first step. I don't know other people's experience, but mine with the one is center, it's like, it's like a family. I got employment here. I got resources here. Whenever I'm hungry, I can come here and eat. And whenever I have issues, I can come here and talk to people, you know? You know, you have struggles that other people fail to recognize. Like, you think that people's lives are easy, but they're not. Sometimes adults think we don't go through, you know, half of the things that we go through. I am a single mother and I go to school and, you know, I live in a low-income community and, you know, I know what it's like to feel like 
like you know you're defined as statistic and I feel that you should always stand out and in my case I I do what I do for other young adults to feel that you know it's possible. I don't know if I would have made it to my senior year to be eligible for UCs and CSUs if it wasn't for the Wellness Center and all the resources that they're giving kids are amazing and they can be life-changing. I want to go to college in Florida, which is at HBCU, ranked number 10. I want to go to um, FAMU, and I want to be a chemical engineer. I want to go to college to provide a better future for my child, to make sure that she has things that I didn't have, and you know, things like that. I was spending all my classes and now I'm getting A's. So it's like this resource has been a great support system for me and this is my family.